Hi, today we're going to be making shortbread squares. You're going to need flour, confectioner sugar, butter, salt, vanilla, double acting baking powder, colored sugar. Okay, to get this recipe started, I've, I've set the oven to 350, so that's warming up, so now we're going to make the cookies. So I'm first going to take the two sticks of butter, which is one cup. Whip that up just a little bit so it's a little soft. So once it's softened, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be adding the dry ingredients, which is the two cups of flour, the half a cup of 10x or confectioner sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Once it starts to mix up, we're then going to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla flavoring. As you can see, after about five minutes of mixing, all the ingredients mix together and form a nice soft dough. And you can see that it's all blended together, so you're basically going to get it off the beater. And it comes away pretty easy, that's what's nice about shortbread, it's not a, a sticky kind of dough, it's sort of a dry dough. So you're going to sort of bring it out, and you can see I have a nice ball dough. And you're going to work with it just a little bit making sure all the flour and the sugar and the ingredients are together. And you're basically going to plop it in your pan. And you put it in the center and you start pushing outwards. And you're going to pat it in. Just working your way around the, the pan. You pretty much have it even all the way around. Pushing down at the sides. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat, but you want to try to make sure it's as even as, as possible. So there's basically your shortbread dough. And then what I do is I take a fork and I want to mark off squares, which I will cut later. I'm just taking the fork and poking some holes, about an inch apart. Then you're going to turn the pan the other way. So you can see I have one row, and now you're going to go the other way to make squares. Now, if it wasn't a holiday, you could just sprinkle the cookie with a regular plain sugar. But because this is a Christmas time, I always put red sugar to make it a little festive. So here I have just red, red decorative sugar. <clears throat> and you pretty generously shake it on. You can see I'm not being shy with my red, my red sugar. So again, I sort of like the color in my Christmas tray, my trays, and the, sh the sugar makes the cookie a little sweeter because you remember we only use confectioner sugar and not a lot of it. So it is sort of a non very sweet cookie. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go put this into the oven and we're gonna bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, the cookie will get a light brown edge on the edge and that's sort of how you know it's done. Um, so again, we're just gonna pop this into the oven at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. So the shortbreads come out of the oven, and as you can see on the edges, uh, the edges have gotten slightly brown. I did cook it for about 35 minutes at 350 degrees. I would check it at about 25 minutes because your oven uh, might run a little hotter than mine, and it also might run a little cooler. You might need to maybe go a little longer, 37, 38 minutes, to make sure you have those brown edges. Once it's come out of the oven, if you remember I put those little fork marks, we're now going to actually cut the shortbread uh, while the dough is still hot. So I just sort of go sort of where I had the fork marks. And we're just going to cut it into little squares. 
And this is a very rich buttery cookie, so you don't want to cut giant squares. Small squares are good because they go a long way. And now you want to take the cookies and put them someplace on a rack uh, on your countertop, someplace where they can cool. Uh, they should stay in the pan for approximately a half hour to an hour before you try to remove them because they are pretty hot and you don't want them crumbling. Thanks for watching the video on this, this simple shortbread cookie. I hope you try it. And if you could leave some comments below, we'd love to hear back from you. Uh, please hit that big red button, subscribe and like, and share us uh, on Facebook and YouTube.